picco. Whipped cream. Panna montata. Panna montata. <coughs> Let's stop and get some coffee. Sure, there's a bar across the way. Yeah, Can you say about me? How may I help you? Mr. Bure and Cafe Grande. No, honey, there are no signs that's here. It's called Un Cafe Normale, One Child Espresso, or Cafe Doppio. A double. That's it. You can get an Americano, which is closer to coffee at home, or a Macchiato, if you'd like some latte or milk in your espresso. I'll have an Americano. Un Americano. Can I have some whipped cream? Con pana, per favore. Whipped cream on coffee isn't allowed. You should buy these for the house. Um, turista? So, what are you going to pick up at the market today? Possibly an Italian race car driver. A piloto di auto da corsa. Or maybe a cologne model in Modella. Okay, how about something to eat? I do perhaps have my eye on some patate. Potatoes. For Halloween, arance have a peel. Oranges. Ah, but limone will be add zest to life. Lemons. Or maybe I'll take a crack at melon tongue. Eggplant. Let's head over to the cavolo. Cabbage. But first, let's make a pit stop at the ciliegi. Cherries. Your translation book is really paying off. Impress your friends with these Italian words. Orange. Arance. Arance. Lemons. Limoni. Limoni. Cabbage. Cavolo. Cavolo. Cherry. Ciliegie. Ciliegie. What did you order? Cappuccino. Ooh, do you know where that name comes from? No, no, so. I don't know. Sounds like you do, though. I do. The word means little hood, and it shares its name with the Capuchin monks. Some believe the drink was named after them because their hoods are the same color brown. Or marone. And others believe it might have been invented by one of their own, a man named Marco Davian. Assolutamente impressionante. Very impressive. Grazie, grazie. You don't have to go to the old country to pick up some Italian. Whipped cream. Panna. Panna. Milk. 